In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. I want to welcome this morning uh, members of the Catholic Daughters of the Americas, as well as all of you who are at home or in our healthcare facilities. Uh, know that you are welcome, and please join us in our prayer today. We celebrate the fourth Sunday of Ordinary Time. As we do so, let us prepare ourselves by calling to mind our sins. You are sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You sit at the right hand of the Father in heaven to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, amen. And let us pray. Grant us, Lord our God, that we may honor you with all our mind and love everyone in truth of heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. amen. Reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. The word of the Lord came to me saying, Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I dedicated you. A prophet to the nations, I appointed you. But do not gird your loins, stand up and tell them all that I command you. Be not crushed on their account, as though I would leave you crushed before them. For it is I this day who have made you a fortified city, a pillar of iron, a wall of brass against the whole land, against Judah's kings and princes, against its priests and people. They will fight against you, but not prevail over you. For I am with you to deliver you, says the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I will sing of your salvation. I will sing of your salvation. In you, O Lord, I take refuge. Let me never be put to shame. Your justice rescue me, free me, pay heed to me and save me. stronghold to save me for you are my rock my stronghold free me from the hand of the wicked I will see My 
trust, O oh Lord, since my youth. On you I have leaned from my birth. From my mother's womb you have been my help. I will reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, love is patient, love is kind, it is not jealous, it is not pompous, it is not inflated, it is not rude, it does not seek its own interest, it is not quick-tempered, it does not brood over injury, it does not rejoice over wrongdoing, but rejoices with the truth. It bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never fails. If there are prophecies, they will be brought to nothing. If tongues, they will cease. If knowledge, it will be brought to nothing. For we know partially and we prophesy partially. But when the perfect comes, the partial will pass away. When I was a child, I used to talk as a child, think as a child, reason as a child. When I became a man, I put aside childish things. At present, we see indistinctly as in a mirror, but then face to face. At present, I know partially, then I shall know fully as I am fully known. So faith, hope, love remain, these three, but the greatest of these is love. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Be with you and of your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus began speaking in the synagogue, saying, Today this scripture passage is fulfilled in your hearing. And all spoke highly of him and were amazed at the gracious words that came from his mouth. They also said, Isn't this the son of Joseph? He said to them, Surely you will quote me this proverb, Physician, cure yourself, and say, Do here in your native place the things that we heard were done in Capernaum. And he said, Amen, I say to you, no prophet is accepted in his own native place. Indeed, I tell you, There were many widows in Israel in the days of Elijah, when the sky was closed for three and a half years, and a severe famine spread over the entire land. It was to none of these that Elijah was sent, but only to a widow in Zarephath in the land of Sidon. Again, there were many lepers in Israel during the time of Elisha the prophet, Yet not one of them was cleansed, but only Naaman the Syrian. When the people in the synagogue heard this, they were all filled with fury. They rose up, drove him out of the town, and led him to the brow of the hill on which their own town had been built, to hurl him down headlong. But Jesus passed through the midst of them and went away. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We are all familiar with 
the term gospel. We just heard from the gospel according to Luke. But the term itself, gospel, means the good news. Good news that is proclaimed throughout the scriptures. Jeremiah, in our first reading, issues uh, the good news that, that he knew that God says that from the before you were even born, I knew you. Now pause and think about that. Before you were even born, God knew you. It's, it's a biblical way of saying God loved you even before you were born. But you know what? Sometimes it's difficult for us to even hear the good news in our own lives and in our own hearts. If someone says to you, God loves you, what is your response? Oh, well, you know, God, I think God loves others, but I, I, I don't think God really loves me. I don't think God can really love me. You know, we hear those, those messages in our own ears and in our own hearts that, that keep us from really embracing the good news, the gospel. This year of mercy that we are in, this, this holy year of mercy, is meant to help us to open our ears and to open our hearts, to allow us to hear the good news about who we are and who God is for us. Before you were formed, God loved you. Our second reading today is that wonderful passage from St. Paul that speaks about love. But you know, before we can love others, truly love them, we have to know that we ourselves are loved. How hard that is for us to hear that. Kind of like the people in the gospel today. They, they, they got upset and, and they, they couldn't hear the good news and so they wanted to get rid of Jesus. And oftentimes that's exactly what we do. We get rid of Jesus because the good news is simply too good. Let us stand now to profess our faith. I believe My brothers and sisters, God our Father wants all to be saved and calls us to the knowledge of the truth. Let us pray to him with all our hearts. For the, 
For the Holy Church of God, that the Lord guide it and protect it, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the peoples of the world, that the Lord unite them in peace and harmony, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all our brothers and sisters in need, especially those yet unborn, that the Lord assist them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For ourselves and our diocesan community, that we offer an acceptable sacrifice, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intention submitted by our viewers at home, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of love, our refuge and our strength, hear the prayers of your church and grant us today what we ask of you in faith through Christ our Lord. Our, my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. O Lord, we bring to your altar these offerings of our service. Be pleased to receive them, we pray, and transform them into the sacrament of our redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For by his birth he brought renewal to humanity's fallen state, and by his suffering canceled out our sins. By his rising from the dead, he has opened the way to eternal life. And by ascending to you, O Father, he has unlocked the gates of heaven. And so, with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up 
for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and William, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. That by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, and the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. And offer the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. 
Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. by these redeeming gifts, we pray, O Lord, that through this help to eternal salvation, true faith may ever increase through Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Brothers and sisters, during this time of celebrating the gift of Jesus in our lives, I want to take an opportunity to say thank you for your support and for your prayers in our ministry in this television mass. God bless you, and please keep up your support as we keep up our prayers and our goodwill for you. God be with you.